that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, it of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be making DIY rugs. I got grey and black from the Dollar Tree. For this project, I will need the edges to be squared. So because of that, I'm going to be cutting out all of the curved edges. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. After that, I cut some of them into two. And then I'll take one full one and cut out strips that I'll be using for the design. When I finished doing the cutting, I realized that they were too thick. So I'm going to reduce them to maybe half inch. Now I'm going to be laying out the pieces in a pattern that's kind of irregular but it's going to form a unique design in the end. I need smaller pieces, so I'm going to cut some of the halves into two. I have a particular design in mind, so I'm just going to be rearranging the pieces till I get the look that I want. The strips that I cut are going to be on the connecting lines. Now this is what I use to attach all the larger pieces together. I'll be using just one adhesive side. As I was doing this, I noticed it wasn't holding up so well, but then I thought maybe over time, maybe give it like an hour, it's going to get stronger. So I just kept going. I'll be attaching the strips with a hot glue gun. Now, if you want to wash this, I don't think you're going to have to soak it in water. You can either dry clean it and vacuum it as well. 
So the tape that I used was not holding the pieces together as strong as I wanted it to. So I went to Walmart and got a much stronger carpet tape. I added it to the back and this is what it looks like. And then I also used a fabric adhesive and a non-skid rug pad at the back just to make sure that all the pieces stay in one place and they're all together. I displayed this in the kitchen, the living room and the foyer just so you guys can know what it looks like. Now for the second design, I'm going to be drawing out a shape to make some sort of pattern with it. I'll be tracing out the shape at the back of a rug that I don't use anymore since I moved to a different apartment. I started cutting out the pieces using a box cutter, but it was kind of rough. So I later decided to use a sharp pair of scissors, which gave me cleaner cuts. I got these from the Dollar Tree, and I'm also going to be cutting out the shape that I just made from it and adding it to the one that I cut in red. This is how I'm going to be arranging the pieces. And when I was satisfied, I glued them all using a hot glue gun. Just to make sure that the pieces are together and they stay in place. After that, I placed them in the middle of another rug that I don't use anymore. And the reason is because I moved to a different apartment and couldn't find the best place for it. So I used that and placed the design that I made in the middle. And now I'm just tracing it out. And after tracing it, I'm going to carve out the shape. When I was done, I used the tape to attach both pieces together. So this is what I used for the first rug that I had to change it to the stronger one. So I'll recommend using this one because it gives a firm and strong hold. I'll be using just one side of the tape. I'll be using the adhesive spray and the non-skip pad at the back. I forgot to mention that I also glued on the pattern that I made to the overall rug before doing this. Now, if you like, you can just add what you get from the Dollar Tree together and keep it simple. Now here's what I made. And the color combination is because I used pieces of rugs that I don't use anymore. So here I spent just $5 for the rugs that I got from the Dollar Tree to add to the existing rugs that I already had at home. These are interesting designs and you can place them anywhere. Are you guys aware that I have opened a merchandise store? Well, I have, and it's easy to locate it. When you click on any of my videos, it'll be right at the bottom. There are regular basic items that I put up on sale and they all come in different colors. And don't worry guys because I have another store coming up pretty soon with Home Decor Essentials. Your purchases and contributions mean a lot to me and it helps my channel. And I am so thankful for all of you who have started making purchases already. I really do appreciate you all. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.